Hello and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. This is Keegs and we are still in our boss's office. We got some nice pictures. But we gotta find out what's in this opening. Let's go check it out. And cool. Elevator. <laughs> Do we have music? Elevator music? No. Loading screen. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Hmm. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Yeah, this guy really does have a... Why is it so dark? Why is it so dark? But yeah, this guy does have a pretty shitty job. Ah, uh, I don't want to just sit around and just push buttons. Stanley walked straight ahead oh. through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Do, do I really want to do that? Mind Control Facility or Escape. I don't want to be mind controlled. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? No, thank you. I don't want to die. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Yeah, I'm going to survive. I want to. I'd rather be mind controlled than dead. This is a little bit ominous. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he did he have the strength to find out? Hmm. What the hell is going on? I, I do not. What? That looks like a little bit of gr graphical glitch. Ah, <laughs> whatever. Can I pick anything up? Can I do anything? Oh, there it is. Now the monitors oh. jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co workers. The, the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Holy butts. Wait, so was I like the only person who actually did my job so they let me live? That'd be great. Even the boss, they just murdered him. Wait, where am I? Four, two, six. I want to. Come on, show him again. Yeah, there's my office. Yeah, everybody's office seems so much nicer than mine. What the hell's up with that? What is this? Click. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Hey, I mean, you're making money. No, oh, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? 
Had he Could truly be. spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I mean, it happens. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and yeah. for all. I'll save everyone's life as long as I can see what's going on. It's so dark. What is going What is this? I want to check out this door. Or door not. Um. Okay, so I've been. What the? Ah, this, this room is awesome. I want to dismantle this now. It just looks so cool. Look at this stuff. Oh, I think that button shuts it off. I want to explore some more. All right, I've explored. Okay, we're gonna push this button. Yeah. I want the. What the hell? Well, let me push the button. There's a big red button, and I can't push it. That is that is garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Wait. Five. Five. I know in the demo there was an 8 button. What the hell? Oh. Oh. What is this? Uh, this is... And when at last he found the source of the room's power, hmm. he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to On. everything it stood its... Oh, Stanley, me. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yep. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine, machine yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Control? I want to be the boss. Oh, Stanley. Come, my you minions. Effort, I really do. I'll but mind you control all of you to do my There's stuff. There's only so much that machine can do. What? You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Oh, I'm afraid oh, you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire... What? How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is, this is a little more what? fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story go. now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. This is about me. Oh. Where we're going. What all this means. I barely know where to start. What the What's hell? That? This guy's a you douche. Where your co are. I don't listen a to moment me. Of solace kills before me. you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Don't. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Hmm. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Oh. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Oh. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. 
You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Am I supposed oh, to dear do me. anything? What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, yes. screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this Wait. room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Button. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No. <laughs> Take me home. Stanley. Take me home. A disappointment. Take me but home. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not Ten. a challenge. It's a tragedy. Enter you wanted to control this world. Turn that's I'm going to destroy it first. So you yeah. Can. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to strike. 25 seconds, bro. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Oh, I think I died again.